before you do this activity, it's a good idea to do a short warm up. So I'm just going to do a quick one now for you. A couple of lap jumps on the spot. You just want to get a bit of blood going through your legs before you do it. A bit of a jog up and down. Repeat this over about five minutes. Let's do some lap jumps. Some jogging on the spot. Just uh, to get those legs going so that when you're ready to go, your legs are warm and you get a good time. And as you do it, if you do it a couple of times, you'll get faster each time. Okay, today's challenge is a fitness challenge, an agility challenge, a speed challenge, and a power challenge all put into one. It's a, a variation on cup, cup stacking. We're going to stack these cups onto this cup here. What I've done is I've set it up over 10 metres. The furthest cup is 10 metres away, and each other cup is 2 metres away. So I've used my tape measure and I've measured it out. Now if you don't have cups, you could use something else, like I've got a peg box with a peg every 2 metres up there. So you can pick up the pegs instead. Pick up whatever you can, whatever you've got at home. Now unfortunately for me, I don't have a 10 metre float area in my house. I've only got this hill, so I'm going to have to do it here. Before I do it, I want to let you know on today's health tip, eat plenty of vegetables, plenty of fruit, that'll keep you healthy, that'll keep your resistance up. You can have the occasional donut, but try and keep healthy to fight off any bacteria or diseases or viruses. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start my watch, and I'm going to go as quick as I can. I can do it in any order, just one at a time. And go! That was 23 seconds of pain. Didn't take that long. Do that three or four times and you'll get really fit. We're all champions here. If you don't have a tape measure for this one, I'll show you another way of doing the uh, challenge. Just put down the cups and mark out two steps. Then put down the next one. That way I've marked out a course, and for little people, like if you're in uh, infant school or primary school, that might be a better way of doing it for you anyway, and get a time and uh, go against your own time each, each time you have a go. Another thing I want you to think about on this one is some safety. Don't use glass cups. Just use plastic cups or paper cups. And by all means, subscribe to my channel.